Hello and welcome to another fun product overview video. We're going to take a look at the newly released Fujifilm Fujinon TS 12 by 28 WP. So these are techno stabilized compact binoculars and they have some serious water resistance which means basically you could drop them in about uh, you know a few feet of water leave them there for just a little bit while you grab them and you'll be all set it's not like a pair of diving it's just waterproof for the basic elements there is the 12 by 28 you see in front which we're going to pop open and there's also the 16 by 28 WP so two great pairs let's take a look and see what we got so the box includes a whole bunch of fun easy things and this is a first time open so wrestle with that a little bit you can see there the nice thing is you have your quick and easy registration code so you have sort of like the QR code there ready to go inside the box oh, inside the box we've got the instructions which you can see here stats little cleaning cloth warranty and registration info we've got a nice neoprene strap and here are the binoculars in their compact case look at these cute things And here we are, the Fujinon 12 by 28. Super compact, you see the waterproof nomenclature. We've got the off on switch for the IS mode right here. When you flick that on, once the battery's in, you would get a green light right here, and you know that they are doing their stabilization. You see the lug straps here and here. You've got eye cups, boom. Boom. The exit pupils. And this is the battery case area. And it's gasketed so you can put the 2CR battery in, which is already placed in there. Remove the protective cover. Redo the gasket. If I can just get it straight. There we go. Boom. You'll hear a little squeak when we turn it on, maybe. Nothing. But we've got the green light. Super quiet. Easy to adjust to your eyes. And that is the super compact 12 by 28 weatherproof, waterproof to a short dip in the water. And, um,. We're going to open up the 16 by 28, show them side by side, and then compare them with the Pro Ma Marine Series, the Polaris binocular, in just a moment. So, stay, stand by. So, for scale, before we begin, I wanted to show you the size of the box of the new 16 by 70 FMT SX series binocular and you, you can see the 1628 in the back the 12 by 28 just back there for scale so I'm gonna start popping this open and we're gonna uh, see what is inside and how these monsters look they are a terrific and extremely popular popular marine series binocular let's get this open this part's easy of course just a huge beautiful box with its packaging. Here's the booklet. Here's the beautiful box, bag. This is the case the binoculars come in. Let's get that set up better on screen. Not a lot of folks actually see these 16 by 70s, so that's kind of why I thought, hey, you know what? Let's throw it out there, see what's happening. You can see the Fujifilm series actually has several binoculars that are in this marine series that are really well known in the, in the boating industry. And 
There's 7x50s, which we're going to take a look at, the 10x series, and then of course we're here at the top end at the 16x70. Let's take a peek. Oh, there's nothing like opening up new stuff, right? So this is a beautiful binocular. This is something to be seen and enjoy. Look at that. Looks just like it's right out of a movie. Professional series binocular. Heavy duty rubberized coating. These are for some of the most extreme weather situations, extreme maritime situation. You have your 16 by 70 FMTR SX field of view, four degree. Got that view info right there. Let's see, zooming in, yep. And let's pop off these along with the strap adhesion right here. You just fill that through your strap and then it's always sitting right there. Strap lugs right here, obviously. The rear caps. Most people probably eventually leave these off, but man, this is a binocular. You could set it, of course, best to your eyes. Dual adjustments, diopter each eye. It's basically set, you know, at infinity, but you adjust to your eye and then you're ready to roll on the marine side. These are not birding or traditional, you know, maybe uh, take a walk around the city binocular by any means. That I would say a more generalized, although maybe not specialized for that, but a more generalized high power binocular in the 16 would of course be this baby little 16 by 28, which is terrific. Or for travel as well, someone said, hey, I'm going down to Costa Rica, wanna look at the monkeys, wanna look at the parrots. You know, you really have a choice between the 16X or the 12X. But I would say either one of these, if you're looking for stabilization and you think you're gonna be in a wet environment, this is really the place to be. One of these waterproof stabilized binoculars. And if you're looking in the boating community and you already know probably what you need, something like the 1670 for looking at distant, distant things on the horizon or beyond, that's the way to go. So I'm going to take one more look and pop open one of the 7x series in the same FMT series as the 1670 so you can see the difference between a 7x and a 16. Thanks.